Hello, welcome to another online story time. My name is Miss Jenna from the Chippewa Falls Public Library, and I am so glad that you are watching today, especially because today we are going to celebrate birthdays. We're going to celebrate everybody's birthday. It doesn't matter when it is. So I have on my party hat. And if you want to stop the video and go make yourself a party hat, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to start off with our hello song. We do the same hello song every day. Today is no different because it's easy to remember. And that repetition is good for our children's growing brains. So first we're going to say hello to our eyes. We see with our eyes. What color eyes do you have? My eyes are bluish gray. Sometimes they're light gray, sometimes they're dark gray, sometimes they're blue. <laughs> so let's say hello to our eyes. Can you blink your eyes while we say hello? Say hello to your eyes. Hello eyes, hello eyes. Say hello to your eyes. Hello eyes. Let's move down from our eyes to our shoulders. Can you raise your shoulders up and down while we sing? Say hello to your shoulders. Hello shoulders, hello shoulders. Say hello to your shoulders. Hello shoulders. How about let's go down to our elbows. Our pointy elbows in our arms. Can you bend your arms? Bend at your elbows. You can do it at the side, in the front, one in the front, one in the back. <laughs> Are you ready? Say hello to your elbows. Hello, elbows. Hello, elbows. Say hello to your elbows. Hello, elbows. <laughs> Let's go all the way down to your toes. My toes are underneath the table and I'm going to wiggle them. Can you wiggle your toes as well? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Say hello to your toes. Hello toes, hello toes. Say hello to your toes. Hello toes. Throughout story time, I'm going to share some fun ways that people and cultures around the world celebrate birthdays. In Winnebago communities, birthday parties are often really large gatherings. There's drumming and singing throughout the evening. Nigeria, which is a country in Africa, they often have huge parties in Nigeria as well. Our story today is called Just a Minute. It is a trickster tale and counting book by Yuyi Morales. And I want to make sure to thank our publisher, Chronicle Books, for allowing me to share today's story. Just a minute. I see lots of peppers hanging on some twine. Looks like there's some decorations in the background. When Grandma Beetle woke at dawn, she heard a knock. Can you knock with me? She heard a knock at the door. And oh my, waiting outside, she saw, she found Senor Calavera. Senor Calavera tipped his hat. What a skinny gentleman. With a pass of his hand, he signaled to Grandma Beetle. It was time for her to come along with him. Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just one house to sweep. Senior Calavera remembered he had extra time today, so he decided to wait. Uno, one swept house, counted Senior Calavera. And he rose from his seat. 
Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have two pots of tea to boil. Senior Calavera sighed. Waiting a little longer wouldn't hurt anybody after all. Dos, two steaming pots of tea, counted Senior Calavera, and he headed for the door. Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have three pounds of corn to make into tortillas. Senior Calavera rolled his eyes. He had to be very patient sometimes. Tres, three stacks of tortillas, counted Senior Calavera, and he put on his hat. She's using a mill to grind the corn. Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just four fruits to slice. Senior Calavera frowned. This was taking more time than he had expected. Cuatro, four fruits made into salad, counted Senior Calavera, and he motioned that they should go. Let's see, I see a pineapple and a mango and a watermelon and some other kind of melon, maybe a cantaloupe or a muskmelon. She's using a pretty big knife, isn't she? <laughs> I hope she's being safe. It looks like she is. Senior Calavera's getting impatient. Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you. When? Right away. I have just five cheeses to melt. Senior Calavera tapped his fingers. This was getting out of hand. Cinco. Five melted cheeses counted Senior Calavera, and he hurried to help Grandma Beetle with her sweater. Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have just six pots of food to cook. Oh, now he's starting to help. <laughs> Senior Calavera threw up his hands. What else could he do? Seis, six of delicious food, counted Senior Calavera, and he offered Grandma Beetle his arm. Let's see, it looks like there's some, maybe plantains in the frying pan. She's looking at something in the oven. What do you think is in the oven? Mmm, something looks tasty. He's whipping up something white and fluffy. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I have seven pinatas to fill with candy. Ooh, let's count these pinatas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what kind of shapes are those pinatas in. Let's see, what is this one? A bird, a bus, some sort of flower circle star thing, <laughs> another circle, oh, a turtle, a cow, and a butterfly. Senior Calavera shook his head in disbelief. It was getting late. Siete. Seven piñatas full of candy, counted Senior Calavera, and he held open the door for Grandma Beetle. Just a minute, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. Then what does she say? I will go with you right away. I have just eight platters of food to arrange on the table. Enough! Senior Calavera couldn't take any more. Ocho, eight platters of food set on the table, but Senior Calavera had lost count. He was too busy stomping on the floor. Oh, he looks pretty upset. He's getting very impatient. Oh, look, Senior Calavera, Grandma Beetle exclaimed. Here come my grandchildren. Senior Calavera took a deep breath. 
Let's count them with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nueve. Nine beautiful grandchildren came through the door. The children sat at the table, everyone at his place. Now, Grandma Beetle said, all my guests are here, and together they make ten. But the guests sitting at the table only counted nine. Grandma, the children protested, where's guest number ten? Here he is, she answered. Yes, number ten, of course, is Senior Calavera. There's the food that she made and the piñatas. It was time to celebrate Grandma Beetle's birthday. When the birthday cake was all aflame, Grandma Beetle blew out the candles with a gust like a hurricane. Can we help her blow out the candles? On the count of three, blow on the cake. One, two, three. <laughs> When the party was over, Grandma Beetle kissed her grandchildren one by one. Then she announced, I am ready, Senior Calavera. But, oh my, where was Senior Calavera? Grandma Beetle found only a note. Dear Grandma Beetle, your birthday party was a scream. I had fun like never before. I wouldn't miss your next birthday party for anything in the world. You can count on that. Sincerely yours, Senor Calavera. The end. We are going to do a felt finger play with the numbers one through five. Can you show me one finger? Two, three, four, five. I have the numbers here. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to repeat the same thing five times. It goes like this. We made a lot of cupcakes. Can you pretend to stir cupcake batter? <laughs> we made a lot of cupcakes to eat and to share. What color is the cupcake you have there? I have a brown cupcake. It has one dot. All right, get out your bowls. We made a lot of cupcakes to eat and to share. What color is the cupcake you have there? Let's see. What color is that cupcake? Blue. Very similar to my party hat. <laughs> All right, how about number three? What color do you think number three is going to be? Let's find out. We made a lot of cupcakes to eat and to share. What color is the cupcake you have there? What color is the number three? Orange. What color do you think number four is going to be? Let's find out. We made a lot of cupcakes to eat and to share. What color is the cupcake you have there? It's a golden cupcake. Let's see. Can you help me count again? One, two, three, four. Let's see. What color do you think number five is going to be? We made a lot of cupcakes to eat and to share. What color is the cupcake you have there? What color is number five? It's my favorite color, green. <laughs> I'm going to add some candles to our cupcakes. 
So I have a brown candle for number one. What about number two? What color is that one? Blue. And number three gets which color? Orange. Number four is gold. And number five is green. This time we're going to say cupcakes, cupcakes, all in a row. How many candles all aglow? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're going to blow out one candle. Can you take a deep breath? Help me blow out one candle. One, two, three. <sighs> cupcakes, cupcakes, all in a row. How many candles all aglow? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Can we blow number four's candle out? Let's count to three. One, two, three. <sighs> cupcakes, cupcakes, all in a row. How many candles all aglow? One, two, three. Let's blow number three out. <gasps> oh, that one's tricky. We need to take a bigger breath. Let's try again. <gasps> that time it worked. Cupcakes, cupcakes, all in a row. How many candles all aglow? One, two. Let's take a really, really deep breath and blow it out really, really fast. Are you ready? <gasps> cupcakes, cupcakes, all in a row. How many candles all aglow? Just one. This time, let's take a really deep breath and blow it out for a really long time. Are you ready? Good job. Cupcakes, cupcakes, all in a row. How many candles all aglow? Zero. Speaking of cupcakes, German cakes and candles began as a tradition about 300 years ago. Before then, in ancient Greece, the candles used to represent the light of the moon. What do candles mean now when they're on a birthday cake? Yeah, how old you're turning. You're right. Extra long noodles are often served on someone's birthday in China, Hong Kong, and Korea. Long noodles represent a long life. So when you give somebody long noodles, that's a fun way of wishing them that you hope that they have a long and happy life. I brought along a few friends to help us celebrate birthdays. A popular song to sing around the world in English speaking countries is the song Happy Birthday. So I thought we could sing Happy Birthday. If you have a birthday today, or you recently had one, or you had one coming up, or if you have a birthday at all, this happy birthday is for you. We'll sing the song two times. The first time we'll sing two summer birthdays. And the second time we sing happy birthday, we'll leave the name blank and you can sing your name or whoever's name you want. So the first time, We'll sing summer birthdays. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, summer birthdays. Happy birthday to you. When is your birthday? Is it in the summer like mine? <laughs> How do you keep track of birthdays? 
some parts of the world, they have a special birthday calendar. Or maybe you have a really good, good memory and you just keep everything up here. <laughs> All right, we'll sing happy birthday one last time. This time we'll leave who it's to blank. I will leave it blank. You sing whoever you want. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for joining us and celebrating birthdays today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and whenever your next birthday is, I hope you have a wonderful celebration and a wonderful time with your friends and your family. We miss you all very much at the library when we get a chance to see all of our friends and story time families again. I, it's going to be like a party, <laughs> but a safe one. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Mwah.